Hi guys, uh, my name is Steve and welcome to Disruptive Wealth Creation. Today we're going to be talking about stock that is potentially going to be bigger than Tesla. If you remember, if you'd have bought Amazon, Apple, Google or Tesla, you'd now be making a lot of money. Well here's another stock that's potentially going to be bigger than Tesla. But before I get into this, I just need to tell you a few things. Firstly, I'm not a financial advisor, but uh, I do have a business background. I sell and import products from China on Amazon, and I have a large portfolio of shares. So let's get into it. So what are we talking about? We're talking about a company called CRISPR Therapeutics AG. This is a company whose initial public offering, its IPO on the stock exchange in 2016, was at $13. So it came onto the market at $13 2016 and now it's worth more than $150 per share. Cathy Wood from ARK Invest, a major company that invests in disruptive shares, says she believes CRISPR is part of the genomic revolution that is going to transform healthcare, healthcare completely. In the past it was held back due to lack of funding and politics. You may remember GMOs, uh, the genetic genetically modified organisms that were applied to crops but banned in England. Well CRISPR is different and CRISPR is not facing these problems. CRISPR's uh, therapeutic mission is to develop transformative gene-based medicines that offer the possibility of curative treatments and their therapeutic approach is to cure diseases at the molecular level using CRISPR-Cas9 gene editing. So um, CRISPR Therapeutics AG has a licensed patent to carry out human therapeutic treatments for, um, for, for diseases uh, using uh, gene editing. The company is based in Basel, Switzerland and its research and development operations are in Cambridge, Massachusetts, USA, and there are some operations in London, UK. It carries out treatments for diseases such as sickle cell and cell therapies for cancer and treatments for diseases of the liver, lung and muscle. So you might want to ask, if they've been around since 2016, what has changed? Well, over the last few years, CRISPR has reached its uh, sweet spot. That's basically the place where shares become more desirable. So CRISPR Therapeutics has uh, moved mountains in the last few years. And here are my reasons. Uh, with, DNA, with DNA sequencing, costs have been falling for between 30 to 40 percent each year. The first genome cost three billion dollars and it took 13 years of computing power. Now it costs less than $1,000 and computing takes less than a day. So by the end of this year, 2021, it will cost less than $100 per day to carry out research and work. As human beings, one in five of us carries a disease related to genetic mutation. DNA sequencing will tell us where our genes have mutated, in other words, where they've gone wrong, and CRISPR will find ways of curing those diseases. ARK Investment estimate that there will be a breakthrough in disease-resistant animals, plants and fish, and that will all be done by 2025, and we will be able to feed 800 million more people. My personal view, and this is my personal view, is that biotech stocks are undervalued. They're in a prime position to surge. And if you are going to invest, my suggestion is do not invest in these large pharmaceutical companies of the past. Invest in the new pharmaceutical companies of the future. So here is what we need to be looking at if we're going to be investing in biotech companies. The first thing we need to do is our research and the, we need to look at the research and development spend of the company and look at how much the company is spending on research and development. 
relative to its sales as a percentage. You will find that large companies will spend between 10 to 30 percent on research and development, while smaller companies will spend a lot more. The second thing that you need to be looking at is funding. A company needs to survive before it brings its product to market. Um, many companies fall beside the wayside because of lack of funding. So find out where they're getting their funding from and uh, be confident enough to find out who's backing them and why. Thirdly, you need to find out about the biotech company, what type of medicine are they looking at. In the medical space there are some firms that develop orphan drugs. These are drugs for conditions that are not common and are rare. They will have a smaller market, they will have a smaller demand and the price for them will be higher. Whereas, company that's, whereas companies that are looking at more common diseases like cancer, there's potentially more to be made and the market is bigger and the demand is greater. Looking at the different biotech companies, my personal opinion is here are the first top six gene editing companies you might want to look at. The first one is CRISPR Therapeutics AG who I invest in, but then there are others. There's Editors Medicine, Intellia Therapeutics, Bean Therapeutics, Bluebird Bio and Regeneron Pharmaceuticals. So look at these companies, do your own research and due diligence and um, have a look at investing in one of these companies. And leave the comments below and let us know whether you have and which one you've chosen. If you like what you've seen, please remember to give us a like as it helps the channel. And if you want to see more content, make sure you press the sub button, the subscription button. If you want to learn more about CRISPR, watch Human Nature on Netflix as suggested by Stock Guru on YouTube. Have a great day guys and see you in the next video.